Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Today is February uh, 12th. Uh, right next to me, we have Dominic Chiliak. Chiliak. And um, making his uh, MMA, uh, basically the Dragon House debut on our next event, March 16th at Cow Palace. Now, Dominic, let's introduce you to all the MMA fight fans out there. Who are you and where are you coming from? So first of all, hi everyone, thanks for the introduction. Um, yeah, as you said, my name is Dominic Chiliak. I was born and raised in Slovakia, which is a small country, but very beautiful in, in Europe. Yes. And um, yeah, I came to, to USA like six years ago, but <clears throat> I used to play soccer and I was kind of missing that competition mm. because the sport was always the big part of my life. So. Uh, so I you're playing soccer, you must know how to kick. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> now, yes, uh, how do you um, how do you like in the U.S.? I like it. It's it's uh, way more opportunities for young people to make money and stuff like that. So, and uh, what do you uh, what do you do for work? Uh, I'm moving furniture. I'm working for a moving company. Oh wow! So uh, shout out to the commander moving. Yeah, that's the best company in Bay Area. So if anyone needs to move, we got you. Well, that's a that's a lot of physical activity. So every day you, you pretty much have to work out, work, yeah. and then train at night. Yeah. Now, how long have you been training martial arts? Uh, it's about three years altogether. I see. And then you have uh, one MMA fight. Uh, it's, uh, you lost an MMA fight, and you have like uh, 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 a few uh, Muay Thai fight, right? Yeah, that's I pretty awesome. Dream so now uh, you are, you do jujitsu uh, as a white belt. Yes, uh, that's pretty awesome. Yes. Now, what you, the last fight you had was a few years ago. Yeah, and uh, what happened to those few years? And uh, you take a break or? Uh, you know what? I had a serious injury. I break my collarbone, so there was some surgery. So I had to test myself with some local jujitsu competitions and. Um, uh -huh like striking competitions to test myself, you know, and now I feel good, so here we are. Nice, pretty awesome. Now, you fighting a guy, uh, 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 Joseph Haro, Joseph Haro, um, he's a little bit more seasoning, he's, um, he has two amateur fights and one win, one loss, um, very seasoning, guy's been training for about a year, what do you think of him? Uh, actually, I seen him fight live on your show because oh. I, yeah, I was supporting my teammate uh, John. Oh yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So what I seen over there, uh, he actually got dropped on the beginning of the fight, but he was managed to win. So he definitely ha had that heart mm -hmm. with the fighting. So yeah, looking forward to competing against him. Now this fight, a hundred eighty-five pound fight. How much do you walk around weight? Uh, usually around two hundred. Two hundred two oh five. It's the maximum. I see. Yeah. You don't really. You look pretty normal, like normal size one third eighty five, but you're definitely tall, and uh, I'm sure you have a, a good striking skills when it comes to the stand up department, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, now, uh, how do you prepare for Joseph? You know, he he actually like last time we fought a guy. On our show, it fought a guy similar physique like you, kind of a little bit taller than him, lankier, and then he managed to take down, you know. So, uh, do you work on your wrestling, prepare for this fight? Um, I mean, I'm going to be honest, I was uh, preparing for the striking competition, uh -huh. but a few opponents pulled out, so uh, they don't have an opponent for me. So, we switch for this one because uh, my teammates and my coaches kind of motivate me, oh, you should do it MMA. Let's go, it's no time to waste. So, we actually just started uh, the preparation for MMA fight. I see. But you know, it's gonna be good training camp. We have four, we both have four weeks to get ready, you know. So, uh, definitely, I'm gonna be training wrestling, Jiu Jitsu. If the fights go on the ground, we will be fight on the ground, you know. It's, it's just how much you fight. Let's do it. That's good, that's good. Now, is there a big population uh, in the Bay Area from your country? Not really. Uh, you know, we, we used to be Czechoslovakia mm -hmm. 25 years ago, so it's more Czech people over here. I see. But um, we speak similar language, so yeah, I, I know a few people from the country. That's pretty awesome. Now, um, which gym do you train at right now? 
I trained at the Cage MMA under the uh, head coach Omar Kazdi and Zach Costa. I see. And who is your main training partner for this fight? Mm, main training partner. Mm, there is few gyms I visiting for the cross training for the sparring because we don't have many people of my size at my gym. Mm -hmm. But if it comes to jiu jitsu, we have very very good people, very high level uh, people in jiu jitsu in my gym, so they are able to help me out. Mm -hmm. And for striking, I go to the other gyms. I see. That's pretty good. Well, you know, look like you pick up a lot of good pieces from different places. Yeah. And uh, which which gym do you cross train at usually? Uh, Jace Training Grounds. I don't know if you ever heard it. It's in Oakland, Muay Thai Minded. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so shout out to the Jay, to Coach Jay. I he see. helps me a lot. You know, especially with the preparation for Muay Thai fight. So that's pretty awesome. Now, any special loved one, training partner, coaches you want to shout out to? Sure. I want to say hi to my family who support me all the time, to all of my friends, all of my training partners, and a special shout out to my head coach Omar who take care of me if it comes to strength and conditioning, Jiu Jitsu, striking, he's always there for me. So thank you very much, coach. Um, yeah, and I want to invite to everybody for my fight. Come support, make some noise. This is a good show. I've been there. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of uh, energy. Yeah, yeah, in, in yeah, that yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Now, um, any, um, do you have any sponsor, uh, um, any loved ones, you know, that you want to shout out to? I don't have any sponsors, but um, maybe shout out to, to my employee, you know, for <laughs> giving me a work, you know, and giving me a survive. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. yeah, and now uh, if people want to get a hold of you to watching your fight, pick up tickets, watching you, support you, how can people contact you? It's easy to find me every afternoon at the Cage MMA gym, so I'm, I'm always there. And uh, I also have Instagram, just type my first and last name, Dominic Siliak, C I L I A K. That's pretty awesome. Now, your opponent. Um, uh, 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 Joseph Hor Haro watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? Oh, just much respect, brother. Train hard, train smart, don't get injured, and most importantly, show up, you know. Please don't pull out because it's so frustrating if you train for the fight. <laughs> and somebody pull out a few days before, so don't be that guy, and we're gonna have a good one. That's pretty awesome. Now, what do you think the fight, how do you think the fight is gonna go down? Um. TKO, I think it's, submission. You know, it's it's too early for, in my career for the predictions like this because I didn't test myself so many times, you know. So I stay in humble and of course I want to have my, my hand raised. That's pretty awesome. That's awesome. For more information about this upcoming fight card, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. This event is a live stream pay-per-view nationwide. So if you cannot make it to the event to support him, make sure you guys watching him online at uh, order your pay-per-view voucher at dragonhousemma.com and uh, follow me on Instagram, dragon underscore house underscore MMA and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Give me some love and support so we can keep doing what we do, uh, producing all the good events for all the MMA fight fans out there. Any last word I want to say to uh, family back home? If you will be the first one, I will tell you that I will give you Ďakujem každému, kto ma proste na mojej ceste supportuje, podporuje a určite chcem, aby bola moja rodina na mňa hrdá. Ďakujem. That's awesome. Here we go. Now you hear it from the man. Dominic Zavaka. Chiliak. Chiliak. <laughs> I bet. Dominic right. Chiliak. So making sure you guys follow him. Uh, one hell of an athlete. Making another MMA comeback. And uh, the last fight was two years ago, right? Yeah. And uh, we can wait to see how he's gonna, you know, bring it on to cage again and uh, making sure you guys stay tuned and uh, follow us and uh, on social media and check out the fight card layout at dragonhousemma.com. I am Jung Lo signing out. We'll see you guys March 16th. It's under the first round fight promotion, biggest event in Northern California. So we'll see you guys out there March 16th. I'm Jung Lo signing out. Thank you, guys.